Hello everyone. I am Isha Tote, studying in class 8. Want your attention for my project for the competition We the Thinkers by Bajaj Science Center Vardha. The title of my project is Sanitization at Doorstep, Low Cost Gadgets. Today, the world is stopped due to COVID-19 pandemic. It is affecting the people on all fronts. India currently has the highest number of cases in Asia and has the second highest number of cases in the world after US. Now, the people are becoming more aware about sanitization. But what is sanitization? It is the process of eradicating bacteria, germs, pathogenic and non-pathogenic microorganisms from various surfaces. Now, thinking of its application, sanitization of floors, tabletops, clothes, etc. is easy as they can be washed or wiped with alcohol-based solution. But what about sanitization of fruits and other non-washable items like mobile, currency, wallets, etc. Taking this concept as a basis, I have designed two low-cost gadgets of which one can be used to sanitize fruits and vegetables while the other can be used to sanitize non-washable items. My inspiration for the sanitization machine came from a spray-based hand sanitizing setup. I thought, why not make a gadget that can sanitize raw edible items like fruits and vegetables and further make the gadget user independent. For the UV sanitizer chamber, my inspiration was the thought about how to sanitize non-washable items like mobiles, paperwork, and leather goods. During literature search, I found that UV rays were the best choice. Therefore, I decided to design a low-cost gadget based on the sanitization through UV rays. Coming to my first gadget, that is a sanitization machine. This can be easily made using items that are available at home and at local market. As seen in the assembly, I have used a 15 liter old uh, oil can as a storage unit for a disinfecting solution. A pipe is coming from the container which is attached to the pressure pump. The pump helps in withdrawing the solution from the container and taking it to the gallon, which is the disinfecting chamber. Such gallons are used in water purifiers as the storage unit. The agricultural nozzle is attached at the mouth of the gallon, which is connected to the other end of the pipe coming from the pump. Now, a timer circuit is attached to the gadget to make it user independent. The timer circuit can be set for 1, 2, and 3 minutes, and it has an auto switch off mode which turns off the gadget when the time is up. Now, let us the functioning of this gallon. I have placed some vegetables on the vest on the wire mesh in the gallon. Now let us set the timer for one minute. The agricultural spray here gives an advantage as it keeps off diffuse spray over the items and doesn't damage them from hard pressure. The timer circuit has power switch and small LED indicating different timers. Like in my circuit, red for 1 minute, blue for 2 minutes, and yellow for 3 minutes. The outlet is attached at the gallon for letting out the wash fluid. Various types of disinfecting solutions can be used. The most popular ones are the baking soda solution and the gadget vinegar solution. The window is also made at the gallon for the handling of items to be sanitized. The timer circuit also helps. As the timer is off, we can take the vegetables out from the gallon. Here I have some clean water. I will wash the vegetables with it. And now these vegetables are ready to use. We can sanitize all the fruits and vegetables with this gadget. But what about non-washable items like mobile, paperwork, currency, etc. 
for this as designed another gadget that is a beauty sanitizing chamber and use an old suitcase as a disinfecting chamber a wooden box or any other opaque container can be used for the same the container is covered with aluminium foil from all the sides to form the reflective surface for the maximum utilization of uv rays the main disinfectant here are the uv lights which are the only components present inside the chamber rest of my circuit is outside the box the uv lights are connected to the uv driver and then to the ac dc adapter via a timer circuit as used in my previous gadget now i have some currency a mobile phone and a mask i sanitize them with help of this gadget so i have placed this item in the chamber now i will turn on the gadget and set the timer to 1 minute the red led is indicating that the 1 minute timer is in on position thus the uv lights have also turned on for demonstration purpose i have kept the timing 1 2 and 3 minutes but studies are still going on to decide the standard time for sanitization through uv rays a wide range of items can be sanitized using uv rays like mobile phone laptops currency files groceries and leather goods such as wallet and handbag using this gadget the uv lights used here are the ones used in water purifiers for disinfecting according to latest studies fruits and vegetables can also be sanitized using this gadget now as the led has turned off means the circuit has completed now i'll sanitize my hands and remove this item thus both these gadgets are very useful at household level as they can sanitize almost all the items in daily use the total cost required for making the sanitization machine was around 1200 rupees but no such product is available in the market yet the cost of uv sanitizer machine was around 1500 rupees but the commercial cost of any uv sanitizer chamber is more than 10000 rupees i would like to thank dr kun lakotia for his timely support and motivational spirit during the competition we the thinkers i would also like to thank my parents my mentors and my teachers at bajaj science center for helping me out in the preparation and propagation of this video last but not the least i would like to thank the audience in anticipation for liking my video if you like this gadgets and found them useful please share this video with your friends and family thank you